I believe I learned a lot riding. I was one of those riders that paid close attention to a, a bunch of different things. For example, you know, little things like, you know, talking to the grooms, you know, the grooms would tell you sometimes when a horse was doing bad or not, you know, um, the grooms know a lot more than, probably than even the trainer because they spend the more, majority of the time with the horses, especially on bigger barns, you know, the, the bigger trainers, they, they don't, I mean, they pay close attention to every horse, but, you know, more, the, the groom usually knows a lot more. And, you know, I had a good communication with that. And, you know, I, I rode for a bunch of really good trainers. Um, Michael McCarthy, Peter Miller, all, you know, Breeders' Cup winning trainers. And, you know, I, I, I learned a lot from them. And there was things that I would personally like or dislike. And now, you know, I'd like to put that into my training where, you know, the things I liked, you know, use them. And things that I didn't like, avoid. And, you know, I think it helps out a lot that I can still get on horses. So, you know, I'm the type of guy that I can tell you, hey, you know what, this horse is feeling good. Or, you know, I, I can tell you this horse, he's lazy. This horse, he's just, you know, he's a little tough. Um, this horse likes to do this. They have little quirks. Every horse has little quirks. And, you know, it's different from a trainer that just stands and watches a horse go well, from when I get on him and I can tell him, hey, you know what, this horse has this little quirk and this horse likes this. This horse likes being on the bit. This horse doesn't. So I think that that brings in um, a lot, I think, personally, that I can help out with that. And, you know, still have good communication with riders because I rode. So it, I think it helps out a lot. Um, and I'm, I'm looking forward to it. He won his first race this spring at Turf Paradise and has a string of horses under his care at Canterbury this summer. It was pretty special. Um, but I, I purchased that horse uh, in October of last year. And the very first time he raced under my ownership, I didn't have my trainer's license yet. He won in Remington. So... That was, that was very special because my brother was on it. So that was kind of like my first win. Um, definitely good. It's a good feeling, you know, not, not, as, not as good as, as when you're on them, but pretty close. And, and I was happy because I did it with my brother. And then I brought him to Paradise, um, ran him once on the dirt. Horace is not, didn't like the dirt. But um, we gave him a race, and I won with another of my friends, um, Asel Espinosa. Uh, He's a friend of mine, very, very close, and that felt special too, you know, because um, there's, there's a bigger friendship than just, you know, uh, business. So that felt very nice, you know, and, and a bunch of these riders that I, I can ride now, you know, I had very close relationships too, so um, it, it makes it a little more special, I think. From, from, since I rode, I have a little bit more understanding, but which is good and it's bad, I think. It's good because you understand a little more, but it's also bad because you you know exactly so you know there's I mean I, I rode and there was times where I messed up and you know you don't want to be the guy that you know messed up so I'd always tell the trainer hey you know what this horse you know make something up you know and the trainer would sometimes believe you you know because they don't know you know like they don't know what happens out there but um, now it puts me in a spot where I know that you know you know certain things happen in a race and I think I know exactly what happened right um, and I have like because I was, I've been in that spot, um, and I think it's a little tougher because, you know, I expect, you know, a little th things a little different. Um, so I, I want to say, that in a way, I expect things to work out smoother. Um, I know there's definitely things that you can't avoid or things happen in the race, once, especially when the gate opens, everything changes. But there's also things that, you know, um, that I think I, I'm more picky about because, you know, I rode and, and I expect uh, better, and I know better. So it could get a little tougher then. Um, my goals as a trainer, personally, are to give the best to the horse. You know, um, I, I was a rider, and unfortunately something happened to me where I don't know if it could have been avoided or not. Um, but, you know, I want to be in that position where I take care of the rider and the horse. But more than anything, the horse first. You know, um, you know there, there's accidents that happen, but I, wanna be, I wouldn't want to put a horse in a bad position or a rider. So my first goal is to, you know, make sure... Um, everything is fine with the horse and the rider. We'll have a, you know, a, a better horse to ride. Um, but always put the horse first, no matter what.